Hello, I'm Pete with Verdon Tarps. I'm here to show you a tarp system that can you can get installed at Skip's Truck and Trailer up in North Carolina. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. So at the back here, we'll open this up. Take the bungee cords, unhook them. Put your finger in through the D-ring. Give it a good pull. Come around, put your ass up in there. Put the S up in the chest handle there, that way it keeps this nice and clear and out of the way. We'll go to the other side. Bunch of cords out, give it a pull and ring. Now grab the rope here to roll it up. And it's up there, you can figure out all you want to, but we just, I usually just wrap it around these uh, rope hooks like this. Once you got two or three, that's enough, but if you want to make sure that the rope doesn't catch anywhere, just get it out of the way good. Pick these bungee cords again, hook it like that, put it in your chest handle here, and again, that'll just keep things out of the way. For releasing the tension at the back, we have a two-stage ratchet that you can go online, and uh, we have a spot that you can see how that works. But all in all, I'll come back here, and I'll go and when it's released a fair amount, I can it all the way. Loosen it off here, I just make sure I have slack. Reach in here, put the hook on, and I like to put this right here, that way it doesn't get caught when it's uh, pushed forward. Same here, I'll grab this here. Loose. Now it's ready to roll forward. On the front here and in the back here, you'll see we have what we call a card stopper from inside. This here, if you put that down at any of these blocks, it'll hold it there. So I just wanted to show you that. It'd be easier to show you that here than up front. So not, but I'll push this up front and that'll hold it. So now you're uh, ready to load your back end of your trailer. Then if you want to take and load the front end, just lift this up, let it go back, and we'll go to the front and release the front. At the front here is where we normally keep our uh, front unlocking for the air block. It's that three position valve, just pull it out all the way. It releases once it's released because it's downhill you'll see it already opens itself partially anyway so if you want to give it a hand feel free now you're ready to load the front and at the front on the driver's side we have a card stopper here as well you can lock it in place it will also keep it from rolling forward while you maybe the wind catching it or so on. So once you're loaded and you're ready to go and you got your load tied down, you're ready to just lift it back up and get forward. Up front here, just to ensure that both sides lock, what you can do is give it a little pull. the locking the little click that means it's locked in feel free to just look inside to the other side you'll see that the front end is closed if it's closed you're good just before you tighten it up it's a little double check now we're ready to go to the back we'll tighten it back up it doesn't matter which side you do first I'll just grab it here. I'd like to kind of push it in that way. Come up there, put it in that hook, drop it in that little holder. Come back here, pull most of the strap out because if you got too much strap wrapped up in here, that rack is working too hard and you're working too hard to tighten it up. Feel free to tighten it up good because if you want, this too tight. You want to go down the road with 
minimal wear and shaking. So tighten it up good. together and it'll make that back door last a lot longer. Go down. Bring it around. Bring your bungee cords in. You're ready to roll. 